Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Board Explorer, out on my quest for England. And I'm joined today by the lovely Cynthia Julian. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Richard. How are you? We haven't done a video for a while together. No, we haven't. People will talk. They will. Uh, we are in Amberley. We are. Where is Amberley? Um, where is Amberley? That's a very, very good question. Yeah, where would you pinpoint it? It's close to the A29, yes. sort of off the A29, down into a sort of bowl. It's right at the foot of the South Downs. In between... Um, Arundel. Arundel and where did we drive through? Storrington. Yep. Um, and we're just passing here down. We're not actually going to go and look at Arundel, the village itself, although it is a quintessential English, it, this English is village. It's quintessential, yeah. Isn't it? With the thatched cottages yep. and um, beautiful we, stone, rubbly we houses. Have a castle here. And they, yes, it has its castle and its beautiful church. And I've made a video with the, the lovely vicar, uh, Jerry at the castle and in the church but um, we just thought we'd take a walk down beside the castle which is actually not so much a, a real castle no. built by for the bishops of Chichester yeah fortified manor house I imagine yes in around about 12 uh, the early 12th century that's what she said yeah and let's just quickly just go over here look because one of the things that Amberley is known for is the brooks the wild brooks yep which are quite flooded at the moment. They are very flooded. Yeah. Um, but it is a sort of flood plain. It is, in right the way through, yeah. So I do expect to... Oh, they haven't built on it yet. You'll be... They haven't built on it yet. No. Well, well observed. <laughs> it's a bit boggy on this ground, so we'll carry on. We're just going to take a little stroll along uh, a little footpath. I haven't got my best walking boots no, on. Dry, but it, it's fairly dry. It's fairly it? dry. And on our left, you'll see the uh, the northern walls of the um, Amberley Castle as known which is now I believe used for weddings and yes, things. Yes it's a hotel. Oh is it a hotel as well? And it's very popular with weddings. Right yeah. and the great thing is that you can step through from the castle straight into the church. Absolutely. And it, and they've got not a red carpet, but they've got a green, green piece astro of turf. <laughs> astro <laughs> turf. <laughs> Which tickled you. It did. Now, uh, we, we, we won't go climbing here because uh, there's a risk of falling rocks, it says. Okay. <laughs> but listen to the crows. If you wanted to have a castle, let me put that again. If you're going to have a castle, you definitely want it to be surrounded by crows. Yep. It just that lends itself to the spooky atmosphere. It did. So you've not been down this footpath before. No, I haven't actually, funnily enough. Um, um, but what, what do we can see in the distance? We've got the South Downs there. We've the got other. Houghton Church over there. Houghton Church. And Houghton right Village, distance. which is the next village along. And then there's the, the train line which yeah. comes past us to Amberley Station to Amberley they have, Station, they have yeah. a station here and of course um, there's a museum at Amberley yes there is What's the chalk pit, chalk pit Museum chalk pit museum and I believe very worth a visit they filmed uh, a bit of James Bond here didn't they yes they did but I can't remember which I one I can't remember which one it was and it was I think <laughs> yeah. just on the cliff bit they did hey, <laughs> get a good view of this uh, the castle wall here. This is the west, west, northwest corner. Great load of sandstone and stuff. Pretty <laughs> impressive for a house, isn't it? It is. You know. <laughs> I mean, the bishops knew how to live, yeah, didn't they? Didn't they didn't rough it, did they? <laughs> no. So uh, Saint R Richard or Bishop Richard, um, from that time, the mid 12th century, who is commemorated at Chichester because he, he lived at Chichester he did. and I know also that he I think had a fig garden did he? in didn't... Tarring oh is that in Worthing him? yeah oh, right. so that's all a bit bit uh, curious so it's behind us we're just going to stroll a little bit more yeah. down we're following <laughs> a, a network rail bloke who's yeah. actually on his way to the, <laughs> the railway line that's what we assumed yeah yeah probably to drag a body off but we've got more of the flooded um, Brooklands on our right. Uh, the water level has gone down quite a lot. It's been right up here. Has it? Yes. 
lapping up against yes, the walls. And in fact, some of the roads have been a bit compromised. It's been so flooded, so... We've never had a, a winter in my lifetime that's been this wet. No, I think it's supposed to be the wettest February on record now, so... I know everyone's saying it's all to do with climate change, but... Well, either I just, way, it's been pretty bad. <laughs> it's, it's a change in the climate, for sure. <laughs> yes. Um, we've got some... But spring is coming. The, and it's spring is early, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. There's lots of things out already. Lots of hope. Yes, lots of, lots of hope uh, for the year ahead. I'm hoping that we've really got rid of all the rain. That would be quite useful. It's a bit of a boggy bit coming up now. Just going to meander across this. And on our side, we've been following another bit of an old wall. I don't know if it's just cliff or if, if that's actually... Interesting, isn't it? But yeah, that's that's just layers of sandstone, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Can we just wander up a here? A natural, a natural wall before it all dropped down. You can hear the ducks, perhaps in the background. On Ambly Brooks, it is a it's a huge uh, expanse of flat land, isn't it? No doubt you get a lot of bird watchers and things down there. We're going to go down to the gate here where uh, our man from Network Rail, dressed all in orange, is just cautiously looking. I guess he's looking at the state of the bridge. I don't know. I don't suppose you'll see him. He's quite in the distance. You might see a bit of an orange flash staggering about. It's quite muddy now and I feel I'm going to fall over <laughs> any second. Oh, no. Amberley is an interesting village. You've got an inordinate amount of um, thatch cottages, as we mentioned at the beginning. Yeah. But there's very little amenities here. No, they have a community shop. Which we're going to have no... a cup of coffee in in a minute. <laughs> they had no shop and then uh, quite a considerable amount of the people in the village clubbed together and bought a barn down the bottom. And... Um, turned it into a community shop oh, how and they brilliant. still have it so yeah shows what can be done it shows what can be, and, and of course they need something like that don't they they do and our network man network rail man thank you very much Hello. Hello. nice to meet you there's a little bit of water supposedly around at the moment oh is there yeah, yeah I don't you've even noticed notice. yeah <laughs> so we're checking that there's no debris stuck in all the bridges and oh well yeah, done it's oh. gone down a bit though hasn't it Thank God, eh? Because it yeah. was high. I used to yeah. live just over there, so yeah. I mean, it looks think, pretty. But it's a, a, I think and here's a train, let's get the train. Here we go. And away it goes. <laughs> well, have a nice day, Yeah, thank you. you so much. Okay. Well, there we are. They're just checking for a little bit of water. Yep. A bit of... Uh, in case there's any debris on the line and it's good that they're on the ball it is well um just gonna get onto the railway line for the last bit the train has gone to the rails, are you i'm gonna chain you to the rails oh. is that okay yeah okay yeah. anything for a bit of drama yes anything for a, a board explorer video <laughs> yeah yes. gotta get the views up you know <laughs> so I've, i brought my rope that should go viral <laughs> if it doesn't here's another one oh. Did I miss? I missed the chance, didn't I? <laughs> right. We have to be very careful here because, as you saw, yeah, they do come whistling. Through, they do they? come whistling, and, and it's probably not advisable to step out onto the rail. Okay. Um, but there is more flooding on the other side of the railway line, as you can just see there. But it does make a lovely walk, and I imagine you can go quite far. You can once you get up to Houghton well, across. Well, we could walk across to Arundel. We won't. Not, not your shoes on. No. Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That was just, we just took advantage, really, of the, a tiny little path that started at uh, Amberley and took us into the middle of nowhere. And Cynthia's refusing to lie down on the track, so we'll just have to end it there. Thank you, Cynthia, for taking me on this little expedition. A little bit of England. You're welcome. Tucked away. You're welcome. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe, become a patron, support what we do, and we'll bring you another chunk of England on the next video. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Till next time, goodbye.
Best of luck editing that lot.